Listen ye, O man, to the deep hidden wisdom. Listen to the world since the time of the dwellers, lost and forgotten by men of this age. This is the supplementary, by the way. From old town with the Toth. Know you that this earth is but a portal, guarded by powers unknown to man. Yet the dark lords hide in the entrance that leads to the heaven-born land. Know you that the way to the sphere of Arulu is guarded by barriers opened only to light-born man. Upon earth, I am the holder of the keys to the gates of the sacred land. Command I by the powers beyond me to leave the keys to the world of man. Before I depart, I give you the secrets of how you may rise from the bondage of darkness. Well, bondage of darkness, from what I understand in this, is the soul being trapped in the material body. That's what the darkness is. Is our soul is shadowed and kept in darkness by the body that entraps it. Know you that the soul must be cleansed of its darkness before you may enter the portals of light. Thus I established among you the mysteries so that the secrets may always be found. I, though man may fall into darkness, always the light will shine as a guide. Hidden in darkness, veiled in symbols, always the way to the portal will be found. Man in the future will deny the mysteries, but always the way the seeker will find. Now I command you to maintain my secrets, giving only to those that you have tested so that the pure may not be corrupted, so that the power of truth may prevail. Listen you now to the unveiling of mystery. Listen to the symbols of mystery that I give. Make of it a religion, for only thus will its essence remain. Regions there are, two between this life and the great one, traveled, by the sands who depart from this earth. Duat, the home of the powers of illusion. Seket Hetzpet, the house of the gods, Osiris, the symbol of the guard of the portal, who turns back the souls of unworthy men. Beyond lies the sphere of the human-born powers, Arulu, the land where the great ones have passed, there, when my work among men has been finished, will I join the great ones of my ancient home. He's talking about going through a portal into the other side, to the other, other realms here. Seven are the mansions of the house of the mighty. Three guards the portal of each house from the darkness. Fifteen the ways that lead to the duat. Twelve are the houses of the Lord of Illusion. Facing four ways, each of them different. Forty and two are the great powers. Judging the dead who seek for the portal, four are the sons of Horus. Two are the guards of east and west of Isis. The mother who pleads for her children, queen of the moon, reflecting the sun. Ba is the essence, living forever. Ka is the shadow that man knows as life. Bo cometh not until Ka is incarnate. These are mysteries to preserve through the ages. Keys are they of life and of death. <coughs> Hear ye now the mystery of mysteries. Learn of the circle of beginningless and endless the form of he who is one and in all. Listen and hear it. Go forth and apply it. And thus you will travel the way that I go.
which is through a portal, motherfucker. That's what he made it sound like. You want to ride like I ride, fool? You know what you got to do. Damn, all right. You will travel the way that I go. You want to ride like me? You want to ride through the portal? Hey. Mystery in mystery, yet clear to the light born. The secret of all I now will reveal. I will declare a secret to the initiated. But let the door be wholly shut against the profane. Three is the mystery. Come from the great one. Here and light on thee will dawn. In the primeval dwell three unities. Other than these, none can exist. These are the equilibrium, the source of creation. One God, one truth, one point of freedom. So God, truth, and freedom are the three. Three come forth from the three of balance, all life, all good, all power. Three are the qualities of God in his light home, infinite power, infinite wisdom, infinite love. Three are the powers given to the masters to transmute evil, assist good, and use discrimination. Three are the things inevitable for God to perform, manifest power, wisdom, and love. Three are the powers creating all things. Divine love, possessed of perfect knowledge. Divine wisdom, knowing all possible means. Divine power, possessed by the joint will of divine love and wisdom. Three are the circles or the states of existence. The circle of light where dwells nothing but God, and only God can traverse it. The circle of chaos where all things by nature arise from death. The circle of awareness where all things spring from life. All things anim animate are of three states of existence. Chaos or death liberty in humanity, and felicity of heaven. Three necessities control all things. Beginning in the great deep, the circle of chaos and plentitude in heaven. Three are the paths of the soul, man, liberty, and light. Three are the hindrances, lack of endeavor to obtain knowledge. Non-attachment to God, an attachment to evil. In man, the three are manifest. Three are the kings of power within. Three are the chambers of the mysteries, found yet not found in the body of man. Hear ye now of he who is liberated, freed from the bondage of life into light. Knowing the source of all the worlds shall be open. I, even the gates of Arulu, shall not be barred. Yet heed, O oh man, who wouldn't enter heaven? If ye be not worthy, better it be to fall into the fire. Know ye that the celestials pass through pure flame at every revolution of the heavens, and they bathe in the fountains of light. Listen, you, O oh man, to this mystery. Long in the past, before you were man-born, I dwelled in the ancient Atlantis. There in the temple, I drank of the wisdom, poured as a fountain of light from the dweller. Give the key to ascend to the presence of light in the great world. Stood I before the Holy One, enthroned in the flower of fire. Veiled was he by the lightnings of darkness, else my soul by the glory would have been shattered. Forth from the feet of his throne like, like a diamond rolled forth four rivers of flame from his footstool, rolled through the channels of clouds to the man world. Filled was the hall with spirits of heaven. Wonder of wonders was the starry palace. Above the sky, like a rainbow of fire and sunlight, were formed the spirits. 
They sang the glories of the Holy One. Then from the midst of the fire came a voice. Behold the glory of the first cause. I beheld that light high above all darkness. Reflected in my own being, I attained, as it were, to the God of all gods, the Spirit Son, the Sovereign of the Son's fears. There is one, even the first, who hath no beginning, who hath no end, who hath made all things, who govern all, who is good, who is just, who is illuminated, who sustains. Then from the throne there poured a great radiance, surrounding and lifting my soul by its power. Swiftly I moved through the spaces of heaven. Shown was I the mystery of mysteries. Shown the secret heart of the cosmos. Carried was I to the land of Arulu, and I stood before the lords in their houses. Opened they the doorway so I might glimpse the primeval chaos. Shuddered my soul to the vision of horror and shrank back my soul from the ocean of darkness. Then I saw the need for the barriers and saw the need for the lords of Arulu. Only they, with their infinite balance, could stand in the way of the impouring chaos. Only they could guard God's creation. Then did I pass around the circle of light. I saw all the souls who had conquered the darkness and saw the splendor of light where they dwell. Longed I to take my place in their circle, but longed I also for the way I had chosen. When I stood in the halls of Amenti and made my choice to do the work that I would do, passed I from the halls of Arulu down the earth space where my body lay, arose I from the earth where I rested, Stood I before the dweller. I gave my pledge to renounce my great right until my work on earth was completed, until the age of darkness be passed. Listen, you, O man, to the words that I shall give you. In them shall you find the essence of life. Before I returned to the halls of Amenti, taught shall you be on the secrets of secrets and how you too may arise to the light. Preserve them and guard them. Hide them in symbols so the profane will laugh and renounce. In every land, form you the mysteries. Make the way hard for the seeker to tread. Thus will the weak and the wavering be rejected. Thus will the secrets be hidden and guarded held till the time when the wheel shall be turned. Through the dark ages, waiting and watching, my spirit shall remain in the deep hidden land. When one has passed all the trials of the outer, summon you me by the key that you hold. Then will I, the initiator, answer. Come and come from the halls of the gods in Amenti. Then will I receive the initiate, and give him the words of power. Hark ye, remember these words of warning. Come not to me, and bring not to me one lacking in wisdom, impure in heart, or weak in his purpose, or else I will withdraw you from your power to summon me from the place of my sleeping. Now, I've read this somewhere else before on the show about the pure of heart thing. Supposedly, um, there's, there, there's some of, there are certain people on the planet who have inside, inside of our DNA, we have a code, and that code allows us to go into the temple where the portal is to go to the other side. That's what he's referencing here. The pure of heart, like it knows when you go to this, that's, uh, it's kind of like in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, when the Nazis open up, open up the uh, Ark of the Covenant, you know, and fucking shit comes out and asks them, yeah, that's, that's what that has to do with. 
Now go forth you and summon my brothers, so, or summon your brothers, so that I may impart the wisdom of light to the path when my presence is gone. Come to the chamber beneath my temple and eat not food for three days uh, uh, until three days are past. There I will give you the essence of wisdom, so that with power you may shine amongst men. There I will give unto thee the secrets, so that you too may rise to the heavens. God, man, in truth and in essence you be. Depart now and leave me while I summon those you know of but yet don't know not. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to go summon the people that, uh, that you know, but you don't know them yet. You ever meet somebody like that? You ever meet somebody you become friends with, you know, for a long time, and, and you realize that you've always known each other, but you just now found each other in this incarnation? That's real, man. That, 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 that's happened to me a lot. That's happened to me even before a few times. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting when it happens. Uh, but you notice how he's saying, you know, encode this stuff uh, in, in symbols and all the rest. I mean, that, this is, uh, as I've known, this, is, this to me is definitely one of the uh, key, key tablets of, uh, of secret teachings and ancient knowledge and adeptism. Um, it's a shame that two of the, the, the tablets are being kept from us. Yeah, that's right. Two of these, two of the tablets of this, we're, we're not allowed to see because the powers that be and the people who the archaeologists don't believe that mankind is ready for it. Well, I'll, I'll be the judge of whether or not I'm ready for it or not. I mean, how about you just not let all the rest of these profane cocksuckers out there see it, and you let a uh, global reality audience see that, and we'll de determine for ourselves if we're, we'll just if we're ready or not. I think we're ready. Oh man, but that's you know that's how this that's how these secret society structures started right there. As soon as one person made the decision that, well, wait a minute, people are going to freak out if they know this, or, you know, well, if you don't tell somebody this, then you can keep everybody enslaved from the lack of that knowledge. That about brings us up to date right there, folks. That's what they've done. That's what they continue to do. Because the powers that be feel that we are children that are unable to handle some of this deeper information, and because it would threaten their power, they don't allow us to see it. But if we continue to raise awareness of these things, and, you know, up until now, up until recently, at least since, you know, the rise of the Internet age, you know, very few people have known a lot of these ancient texts even exist. At least now we're in a position to where all this stuff, we can raise awareness of it. Nobody's asking you to, to, to change the world overnight, but we, we, you have to do something every day, that, and many hands make light work, you know. And to me, this is one of them. I mean, as soon as you become aware, and I think that's, that's really what the whole credo of my work has become. I didn't expect it to be that way, but my work is really just is becoming bringing stuff to the forefront and bringing stuff out to, to a larger audience that's already been there, you know. Uh, but for whatever reason, and, and you know, with my work into the secret right and all this stuff. Uh, now you know what the, the reason is. Uh, so I'm kind of simultaneously exposing the people that are uh, keeping the information from being exposed on a large level and uh, simultaneously exposing them and exposing the information that they're, uh, they're keeping from us. That's a lot of fun. And it definitely certainly uh, is going to keep me going on doing this for a long time to come uh, with the, uh, help of the uh, the gods, whatever they may be, aliens or spirits or white man, the clouds or whatever have you. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah.